What's up everybody? Neo here with Gadget Hacks, and today we're going to show you how to stop that annoying automation that launches iPhoto every time you plug your iPhone into your Mac computer. So it typically goes something like this. You plug in your device, as soon as you do, iPhoto will start to open along with iTunes. Then you'll most likely force close or close the application because you didn't want it open in the first place. So let's go ahead and save you the headache and show you how to stop this all together. Alright, so the first method we're going over will actually stop any device or image capturing tool like a digital camera or your phone from launching iPhoto. All you have to do is have iPhoto open. You can just close the window. Go tap on the iPhoto and enter the preferences from the menu bar right here. Now from the preferences right here where it says connecting camera opens. We're just going to make sure that it says no application. This one sure that iPhoto or image capture does not launch when you plug in a camera. Now this is good if all you use is an iPhone, but if you're like me and you have a digital camera that you want to automatically launch iPhoto when you plug it in, then let's go over a second method that lets you specify a device and choose whether or not it opens a particular application. So let's go check out the second method. So with your iPhone plugged in, go ahead and open the image capture application. Just hit command spacebar to quickly bring up your spotlight and start typing in image capture. And it should come up. So with it open, I'm going to select the device. And if you don't see any options right here, go ahead and click this arrow. And you'll see that connecting this phone opens which application iPhoto and what are you gonna pick obviously we're gonna choose no application because we don't want to deal with having to force close that every time and that's it so let's go ahead and show you this alright so keep an eye on my dock we're gonna go ahead and plug this baby in and of course iTunes will open but you notice that iPhoto is not so it's that simple it's just a little toggle that you have to look for Definitely check out the full guide on GadgetX.com. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more awesome Gadget Hack videos. Thanks, guys.